Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So today's video is a part of my May collab that I'm doing. And so the theme of this month's collab is flowers. So May flowers like April showers, May flowers. Um, yeah, I'm corny. Um, so yes, the theme of the um, collab this month is May. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to all the ladies that participated this month. Um, things are just all over the place in everyone's lives right now. Um, some of us aren't working, some of us are working from home. Um, some of us have our kids at home while we're working from home. I don't, but some of us do. So we all have a lot of things going on. Some of us have sick, sick people in our lives. Just there's so much going on. But everyone that participated in this collab, everyone's been so positive. Everyone's like, no, we're still doing it. Yes, I've been busy, but no, we're still doing it. And I just really, really appreciate that. Um, this monthly collab thing that I'm trying to do, it is a little bit harder during these times. Um, me, myself, I'm not as motivated. Um, just all the different changes in my life that are going on right now because of this COVID-19. But we're here, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you, ladies. Thank you so, so, so much for, for participating and just being just a pleasure to work with. So as always, I'm going to link a playlist to their videos down below. Please make sure that you check out their videos, check out their content, um, subscribe to their channels, um, leave them comments, like just, you know, engage with them as well. Um, a lot of you might already know some of these ladies. So, but if you don't just check them out and engage with them, um, great group of ladies to work with. So what I've done so far is I have my flexi hand, um, by flexi finger. I have used my XVX nail tips, um, as the base tips for this set. I am, I did go in with a clear layer of my Young Nails acrylic, which I think I went in with um, a little bit too thick of a layer around the cuticle area, but that's neither here nor there. And then I'm going in with this white sand acrylic from Glam and & Glitz. And I'll show everything again at the video, at the end of the video. I don't have a link for Glam & Glitz because I bought it from a beauty supply store, but you could just Google it, see if you can find it on Amazon. See if you can find it on their website, but that color is white sand. Um, the flowers I'm using and the foils I'm using, I think I got them on Amazon. And I have a bunch of flowers, but these are the um, the flattest ones. A lot of the other flowers I have are pretty thick, and I, I'm like, how am I supposed to encapsulate this when it's thick? Like, my nail's gonna be hecka thick. So I just went with these small ones and these are super, super tiny and they're not the easiest to work with. But just for encapsulation purposes, these were the flattest flowers that I had. So I'm just randomly placing the flowers. I'm using them in this bluish teal color. Um, I have a fuchsia pink, I have a light pink and a purple. So I'm just placing them randomly and I'm just placing the gold foil pretty random. One thing that, um, the gold foil didn't stand out as much as I thought it would because the glitter acrylic, I wanted, maybe if I would have made that a little bit sheerer, then um, the gold foil would have popped a little bit more, but I wanted a lot of the glitter too and the foil, so I was being a little greedy, but I, I think it still came out cute overall, but I wanted that gold foil just to pop a little bit more. I didn't want to use a white acrylic because I wanted it to stay clear. I didn't want it opaque. I do have other white shimmery um, acrylics I could have used to make that gold pop, the gold fo foils pop, but I also didn't want an opaque glitter, but I guess I could have just added regular glitter. Anyways, you know how like when you're doing your nails, you have this idea and then after you're like, oh, I could have done it this way. This is that situation. So. Yeah, so many things in this video. I'm like, oh yeah, I could have done it this way. But yeah, again, that's neither here nor there. But I'm just adding um, the flowers into the wet acrylic. And if I find that they're not sticking or coming off the brush, 
I'll either just wet the brush in a little bit of monomer or wet the brush and grab a little bit of the clear acrylic and put it on the nails. So this actually was my first time encapsulating these flowers. So I was just not really 100% sure of which way to go. And I didn't want to add too much bulk to the nails because I, again, I have to encapsulate. And for some reason, <laughs> when I encapsulate, and you'll see it later, I end up making my, um, my apex look like it's a pregnant belly. So just something I'm practicing. Um, I'm still getting my ratios down with my acrylic, still shaping, whatever. This is something that I am still pretty new at, but I just, you know, a lot, a lot of my main reason for having this YouTube channel is to share my journey. And then just to meet other ladies um, that are also doing DIY nails or even some nail techs or what have you. But yeah, so I say that to say that even though my nails didn't come out perfect, I'm still happy with how they came out. And um, yeah, I'm still happy with them. I actually think, I was thinking that I probably could do this set on myself and maybe add some like of that cover, um, my Tones Cover Almond for the nail bed area. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't really have too much more to say again i do want to stress um the playlist that will be in my description box below definitely um do want to stress you guys checking out the other videos um everyone used pretty much different things to achieve like a flower look so it's really interesting to see all the different mediums um definitely enjoyed working with this group of ladies and i do want to thank them again so please check that out. It would be in the description box below. And I will be back um, shortly in this video. What you're going to see next is my um, attempt at encapsulating. Like if it makes you laugh, then it makes you laugh. Um, but yeah, I did have a little bit of bulk on the nails, but I was able to take care of that with finish filing. So I'm only going to show you a couple of nails being encapsulated. And I did go back. Before I encapsulated, I did go back and add a little bit of more of that glitter and then some more flowers to the nails and then I encapsulated and I think I only um, saved about two in this video. I think I edited out the other nails. So you're going to see that and then I'll be back to talk to you right before I top coat.
Okay, so these are the nails after I have encapsulated them, let that dry. I've shaped them and buffed them. So I'm just gonna go in with a layer of top coat. And because these are sheer, na sheer nails, I'm also gonna go in underneath the nail with a layer of top coat so it's shiny all the way through. Um, yeah, I really do like how these turned out. I really, really love this design. I don't know where I can get bigger flowers that are flat. Like I said, I did get these off AliExpress. Um, I think I had like three different kinds and just picked the flattest flowers out. I don't really care for the ones with a lot of green in it. I just want the colorful the, from the flowers. So if anyone has a link to a good set of dry flowers, please let me know in the description box below. But yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please check out the playlist of all the other ladies that participated in this collab. Um, engage with them on their pages. Definitely subscribe to their channels. And I will be announcing, I think I'm gonna do another um, collab in June. Like I said, I try to do this each month. If you're interested in participating in my monthly collab, definitely um, DM me on Instagram. That information's below as well. Just let me know and then once I announce it, I'll include you in the group chat. So this is the finished set. I really like how this design came out. And the products I used in this video were the Young Nails Monomer, Core Clear, and for the acrylic, and then Glam and Glitz in White Sand. And the top coat I used was Madam Glam Silk Off Top Coat. Anyways, ladies, thank or guys and ladies, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. And that is about it. I will see you guys all again soon for another video. Thank you so much for watching.